Number five, UConn hits the road Wednesday for its Big East opener. They'll be at Seton Hall, a team that has given them trouble in the past. And sure enough, the underdog has already taken plenty of action in this one. Should we follow the money? We're back a UConn team that looked very impressive last Friday in Seattle against Gonzaga. I'll have that answer coming up in just a minute or so. What's going on, everybody? Brian Power of wagertalk.com back here with you. And I have a 5% max bet in college basketball going tonight. In addition to my free winner here on UConn Seton Hall, I'll be letting you know how to get that 5% max bet later on in this video. But let's get to our game preview here. The underdog, Seton Hall, as I said, has definitely taken money here. This despite UConn looking very impressive last Friday when they defeated Gonzaga in Seattle. The Zags also recently defeated North Carolina. That's another top 25 foe. Against Gonzaga, the Huskies shot 55.8% overall from the field. We're 41.2% from three. Compare that to 39% overall and 16.7% from three for Gonzaga. No surprise then that uh, the Zags were able to win going away. Just an all-around strong effort from the defending national champs. A result that I admittedly was on the wrong side of. By the way, looking at the wagertalk.com odd screen, this number opened 11 and is now down to 8.5 or 8 depending on your sports book. Now, the Huskies only lost this season, came at Kansas, true road game, where they shot only 41.1% from the field. Tonight, it will be just the second true roadie of the season. Again, the game against Gonzaga last week was in Spoke uh, was in Seattle, pardon me, not Spokane. Now, I'm not saying the Huskies are going to shoot as poorly here as they did at Allen Fieldhouse, but certainly some shooting regression has to be in the cards for the Huskies because they've been making over 51% of their field goal attempts the last three games, including over 55% the last two. Seton Hall, pretty good defensively, keeping teams to 41% shooting overall and just 30.5% from three. And the Pirates could shoot themselves 50.3% from the field here at home. To me, even with this line move, this is still a lot of points for UConn to be laying in its conference opener and just second true road game. Remember, the Huskies did lose seven Big East games last season. They're just 4-3 straight up for Seton Hall under Danny Hurley, and that includes a one-point loss in this building last season. Meanwhile, Seton Hall looked sharp against Mizzou over the weekend, scoring 93 in a mild upset in Kansas City. All five starters finished in double figures, and it was uh, quite the offensive showing there from the Pirates, and I think they've got enough here to stay within the number at home on Wednesday. So Seton Hall plus eight and a half is the play here. Let me know what you think of that down in the comments section below. And while you're at it, feel free to smash that like button. And if you already haven't done so, be sure to subscribe to the Wage Talk YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our exclusive sports betting content. Now, if you're looking for my number one play, for Wednesday. Head on over to Wage Talk right now. WT.buzz backslash BP is the place to go. There you're going to find just my second 5% college hoops play of the season. The first one was two Saturdays ago and saw Washington upset Gonzaga outright as four point underdogs, including that huge 5% win. I'm already up 45.7 units for the month of December. Had a disappointing last, a loss last night with Troy. Okay, but. I remain number one at Wager Talk in both win percentage and ROI for the month of December. I'm also number one uh, with all 5% plays over the past 12 months. Very proud of that given the stiff competition. So head on over to Wager Talk, wt.buzz backslash BP for tonight's massive 5% winner. Now, if you're looking for more game previews, all you need to do is click this next video.